Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to learn how to use this Casio FX991EX or Casio FX570EX class with scientific calculator. And how to do distribution calculation. Then we are going to learn how to do statistical calculation with this calculator. We can do different types of distribution calculation. Let's go with the menu and seven to the distribution mode menu and then press 7 we are in distribution mode and number one is number one is normal probability distribution and then mm, number two is normal cumulative distribution and then three is inverse normal cumulative distribution and then number four is binomial probability distribution and on this screen binomial cumulative distribution and then passion probability distribution and then probability cumulative for passion so all these options are available and we will see all these variables uh, depending on each type that you select so all of these will be available to use or uh, deploy boundary area probability value and all of these and the, if these are selected you see all the variables but beyond this four and on the next screen we have also list where for example if I select this one number one you will see list and variables available and if I go in one list the, here we can have up to 45 rows uh, available for us and then we, when we enter values, for example, 35, 4, and then 3, we can go and change them by pressing delete, or, and if I press equal, and on any of these, when you're there, when you press option, you will see these options, for example, number two, editor, here you can insert new row and delete. If I press 2, delete all. So keep in mind that that option is available when you see this screen. When you're out of this screen, this option will be different. If you want to learn all the features of this calculator, I have a full video that covers everything. This portion has been extracted from the main video. You can visit that video by clicking right now on the top of the screen or the link is below the video in the description. And this is example 1. For example, it says calculate normal distribution probability uh, distribution when x is equal 36 and sigma is 2 and then mu is 35 so now let's press option and then one select type and then we are selecting one in this case x is 36 I'm entering it and sigma is 2 and then mu is 35 and if I press equal it gives me the answer the probability of success or whatever other term that you use for this and example two let's use uh, cumulative binomial option and then one and here we use probability distribution number four and in this case we have list one and let's enter this value 10 11 12 13 10 i'm pressing this equal and then 11 and then 12 and then 13 when n is equal 15 and p is equal 0 0.6 in this case when you have no other value and press equal you will be presented with this screen where you can enter n i'm entering 15 and then press equal and then for the p 0 0.5 and if i press equal now everything has been selected press equal and this column have been felt with the p so the values have been now presented for us and on this screen we can delete any value but keep in mind that all these val values are available if i come to the right i can save this in memory in any of these memory a b c d e f x and y so to use them for example if i want to store it in f press store and then f and you will see stored in f so all of these you can have up to the six plus two eight of these can be saved and recalled later and used in your calculation but if you update any of the value in x for example if i change it to six this has been now reset it so i press equal 
and then equal in this screen now you're given a chance to select NNP or if you want to just continue press equal and it will be recalculated return to normal mode press menu one make sure to hit the subscribe button and subscribe now now let's see how we can do a statistics calculation with this calculator to go to statistic press menu and then six we are in statistic mode the screen will present to select that variable that we want and this slider will show that we have more screen so two screens are here and remember if you exit from this mode all the data that you have saved or stored will be lost so we have single variable you can see it like that and we have re regression linear regression this one and then we have quadratic to the power two and logarithmic as you can see ln it has ln a plus bn and then we have exponential and then we have power regression as you can see x is at the power b to the power x and we have an in inverse regression in this case b over x and then we need some setup simple setup setup down and then a statistics three and we get this option to uh, uh, turn the frequency on or turn it off this is showing frequency and then if you set it off it will not show the frequency column in your calculation so I'm just pressing 2 to hide it and let's enter data entry for single variable because we are in one variable let's enter all these values option and then data 3 and you'll see the column here I'm pressing one and then this equal sign after each value two two three 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 four four five so we have ten values and then press all clear do not worry and if I press option this option button and with the arrow just go once twice and one this shows summation we can get summation of a value or summation of a square of value of x if i press one you will see it here so you can use it in your calculation or do something with it if i press like that or you can simply press equal sign to see it if you want and that's a summation that's a summation and if i press option once and twice variables two so we will see the variables for example mean and then population standard deviation and then you can see population variance uh, population standard deviation and the number of items and so forth on any of this if i press the number for example for the mean i can press one and equal i will be able to see it for any of those variables and if I press option and then two, we see all the variables. These are very tiny, but the values are there. We, are, we have two screen, three screen actually. You can see, we can scroll and see them all. And that's amazing. And you can use any of this you want. And if I press option lower, and if I press option lower screen, and if I press three, I can see minimum, maximum median and then first quartile and third quartile now let's see this question determine the normalized variate when x is equal to and p at t at that point with three decimal place so we have to go first in fixed mode press shift setup and then number format three fix one and we select three this three so now it's it shows that we are in fixed mode in a statistics but fixed mode so you can have three decimal places now let's enter our value two option go down four normal distribution and here we can select four because we want to put it at t now if i press equal two at that t we got a number and now we want to uh, get it or estimate the value press option and then down four and in this case one we want to put the t the value in here so the answer will have it 
I'm pressing this answer key and close it and this is the estimated estimate value and if you want to change the type option and one just press option one and from here uh, we can select linear regression for example three it says the memory will be cleared press equal yes and it has been cleared and as you can see frequency was enabled and let's disable it because this data doesn't have column for frequency shift setup once and then statistics three frequency two off now the column disappeared let's enter this these values 170 i'm pressing equal and it goes to the next and next 170 170 and then with the arrow come to this 66 68 and 75 66 68 and 75 and press equal and all clear so we can see option 2 2 option 2 all the variables are shown here all the values so you can see them and you can individually recall each now all clear option option and then next screen one summation we see all these summations for regression before it was just two of this now we have eight any of these can be recalled all clear option and then variables you can see all the variables you can you see we have a scroll line here where you can see different parameters or variables for that type of regression and we can press arrow and go to minimum maximum for example three minimum of x maximum of x minimum of y maximum of y and just, then just press the appropriate number and here for regression in this case these are the variables for the regression and if you want to change the type we can press change and then option one and then four because we are changing from one type to the other one the data will not be lost because it is regression but if you go from single variable to quadratic or something else you will lose the data and now let's enter this data press option four and here when you're on this screen if you press option you will see more option here for example number two editor and as you can see delete all two so it has been cleared now 20 i'm pressing 20 and then equal 110 110 equal and then 220 equal 290 equal let's go to the right first column 3150 3150 equal 7310 7310 equal 8800 8800 equal 9310 9310 equal the data have been entered all clear as usual and we can go option if we press option and then down 4 and then three this three is correlation coefficient r and then go option down four and in this case one option down four one that is regression coefficient a if i press equal sign i can see it and the same way you can do regression coefficient b option down four and then b equal sign so we can see them now and now let's say determine y when x is equal 160 in this case we press 160 and then option down four we go and pick up this y so we are evaluating y when x is 160 and that's the number If you want to learn all the features of this calculator, I have a full video that covers everything. This portion has been extracted from the main video. You can visit that video by clicking right now on the top of the screen or the link is below the video in the description. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please thumb up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it.